All right, medium level one. It's giving some people some trouble, so here's how to beat it. First thing I'm gonna do is put out some laser towers right here along these two long straightaways. Then bouncing back and forth, I will upgrade them quite a bit. I'm gonna put a shock tower right here at the little elbow, this little corner here. Put some more firepower than we a missile tower. This missile tower is going to be important later, you'll see. And get a blaster out there. So the shock tower is kind of a force multiplier. It's increasing my damage per second being dealt by the towers around it, simply by the fact that it slows down the creeps that get near it. Now you have to think of Geodefense a lot like a chess game, actually, in that it's got a opening moves, a middle game, and an end game. Right now we're in the opening moves, and what I want to do is I want to kill as many creeps as quickly as possible because it's a speed round and they come out so quickly and I need time to upgrade these towers and I almost can't think about what I'm doing but I have to have a strategy in mind. My strategy is to get that missile tower upgraded as quickly as possible to around level 5 and I'll tell you why because when a missile tower at low level fires a missile that missile will go after its target, but if the target dies because something else killed it, then the missile just flies right off the screen and all its damage dealing potential is lost. The missile going dead stick like that is a problem for this level because the, the lead guys tend to get killed by the laser towers and other things so quickly that a lot of the missiles, like that one, just fly right off the screen and do nothing. It's okay though, because if I can upgrade that missile, I'm going to be okay. I got another shock tower going there to keep slowing things down. Remember, missiles do splash damage, which means they not only do they hurt the thing they hit, but they hurt the things around them. Okay, he's uh, one away. He's one away, so uh, I can get him upgraded one more time. I think we'll be in business here. A lot of damage there. Okay, I got enough money, just enough, and I'm going to upgrade him. And now what's going to happen is he's going to fire a missile that will loiter if it needs to and wait for another target if it doesn't hit its primary target. And we'll be able to see that here. And you see that missile just starts looping around there waiting for a target to show up. It won't stay indefinitely, but this will come in handy. See these, tar see these missiles reacquiring a different target? Not only that, but they move faster, which is important because these guys are, these creeps are moving fast. Uh, they hit harder, and the radius at which they do splash damage is increased. So upgrading a missile tower is very, very effective. Okay, a bad guy just slipped through, so this isn't good. You can see they're getting through the defenses where we're slipping from the middle game towards the end game now. Bad guys are getting really tough. But hopefully I played my middle game right to give myself just enough firepower. Okay, another guy slipped through. You know, every time a bad guy slips through, it's not just that much closer to losing the level, but uh, it's some cash I don't have to spend, right? Okay, here we are. There's some tough yellow wiggler guys. Oh, that hurt, that hurt, that hurt. Okay, I got five left on my final wave. Wave 14, here come some fast stars, but they're weaker. And let's see if I killed enough of them. Oh yeah, even if he slips through, there's the win. So geodefense really is the thinking man's action tower defense. You have to think about what you're doing. You can't just throw towers out there randomly. Everything has to work together in perfect harmony. That's how I balance these levels, and that makes a challenging game just the way I like it.